So I submitted a short video to MLB on TikTok for the 2022 Creator Class search, and they loved it. Your boy is an official MLB ambassador for the 2022 season. More on this on my IG and TikTok, so make sure to go follow me there if you want to follow my story throughout the season. So here's the video that I submitted. content together. So today's tutorial will be part one of the series, as I'll be going over different effects in separate episodes. Today I'll be showing you this scene here, where I threw the ball and made another version of myself catch it and fly across hitting the fence. Does that look like it <laughs> Look like Will Smith just slapped you. But before I get started on this tutorial, I just want to give a big shout out to Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. Storyblocks is where I get most of my assets to help elevate my work. I get tons of backgrounds and overlays to use for my projects on their site to help bring my ideas to life. They have a full library of royalty free assets all included in their affordable unlimited all access plan. Finding the right pieces to mold my stories have been so much easier since I'm able to download assets that I like and download as many as I want until I find the right one for for my project. So guys, show Storyblocks some love and head on over to storyblocks.com slash Francisco to learn more about Storyblocks and see how you can use their assets to help take your videos to another level. All right, now let's get on with the tutorial. Uh, maybe if you go like a, like a squat. Kind of like squat like this? Yeah. Is that weird? No, not really, no. Okay. So we're gonna need four different shots to make this scene possible. All these scenes were shot on the baseball field. You can use a mirrorless camera or your smartphone, so just pick your weapon of choice. The other thing you will need is a tripod and of course your baseball gear. If you don't have any, that's okay. What we really need is just a baseball, but if you don't have that either, I'll show you another way we can work around that later in the video. So I shot this vertically since it was made for TikTok and here's how I did it. So for shot one, I stood on one side of the frame and started the pitching motion without actually throwing the ball. If you do have a ball, I suggest maybe throwing it in the scene so that you can skip a lot of the editing that we're going to do later on in the video. I made this mistake thinking that I would just add it in afterwards, but if you have the ball already, just throw it in the scene. Shot two, I was at home plate, dressed as another version of myself with a glove, waiting for the ball to be thrown. Then after a few seconds, jumped back as if the pitcher just threw a superhuman-like fastball that made me fly backwards. Shot three will just be a still of the next scene here. Shot four will be that scene, but me standing in front of the fence and then jumping back as if I got thrown again. It. Be a little careful shooting this part. My jump, as you can see here, was pretty weak, but since I'm an old man, I still felt that afterwards. Now that I have all the shots, it's time to show you guys how I put this together in Final Cut Pro 10. So the first thing I'll do is create a 1080 by 1920 vertical project. I will place the very first clip that I show of me pitching. So for this shot, we will need to add the ball leaving my hand. I will use this stock footage of a baseball spinning on Storyblocks. But like I said earlier, you can just take a photo of one instead and use that if you want. It's totally up to you. So I will start placing it around when my hands open up. Then I'll cut off the rest to line up with the clip. I'll use the keyer effect to get rid of the green and then resize the ball to be about 3.5%. I will then place a keyframe for the ball, move it over one frame and have it just moving forward. I'll probably have the ball out of the picture within three to four frames. Add Gaussian blur to the ball to make it a little bit more realistic. You can also add in the flames like I did in the main edit that I showed you earlier which you will need to keyframe along with the movement of the ball. And you can find this fireball-like effect on Storyblocks as well. Definitely optional, but it's totally up to you guys. It does add a lot to the effect. Now the second clip will be a little bit easier. I placed the ball right about at the spot where I started to catch it. Do the exact same thing again, key out the green, resize it, and add Gaussian Blur. Now place a keyframe at that spot. Go one frame back and move it roughly around halfway through the frame. And then move it again a couple more times. 
rearrange your keyframing afterwards if it starts to shift. We're going to speed up the part where I start to fly back by pressing R on your keyboard and then selecting that portion. Now change the speed to fast eight times. Add flames to this as well if you want, like what we did in the other clip, but again, totally optional and up to you. So now it should look something like this. So for the last part, we will insert that blank shot of the scene with nothing in it. Now we're going to place the part where you jump back towards the fence about 15 frames in on top of the clip below. We're going to stop it right about here before I hit the fence and freeze that frame there. Then I'll get rid of everything else before that, cut the part where the freeze frame ends and then save that last part of the clip for later. This will be the part that will probably take the most time. You'll need to place the key points around the subject. Try your best to get it as clean as possible, but since it'll be moving so fast, you probably won't even see those little imperfections anyways. When you're done under the transform tab, we're going to adjust the X axis until that cutout is at a frame. Then you're going to place a keyframe. Move one frame in and move your person into the shot. Move another frame in and have it around the same spot where it should be originally. Now place the other clip we cut off earlier and put it beside it. Add motion blur to the movement to make it more realistic. I'll leave a link to that in the description where you can get it for free. Also add in flames if you want like what we did in the other scenes. Now it should look something like this. If the clouds are moving like in my shot here, just place the draw mask tool on top of the last clip and mask out the top part by placing the key points underneath the sky and clouds so that it stays consistent with the clip below it. So this is how it should look now. Also you're going to need to add in the sound effects and color grade it so that it takes your edit to another level. So here it is with the sound design and color grading added in afterwards. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to go check out Storyblocks at storyblocks.com slash Brian Francisco to see if you can find anything there that will help elevate your next project. I'll see you guys in the next video.